Okay, here we are. I've made some modifications to the Rail Power Products SD90. And we're going to test them against the 15 inch radius curve. Because you know, we got to have them be able to go around 15 inch. So first time I put them on there, couldn't make it too long. But now I made some modifications. Let's check them out. Oh, that front truck. Front truck on this. It didn't come off the track, but the front truck has something wrong with it. In fact, the side frame even came off. But there it goes. It's, it's just sticky. There we go. So, what modifications did we make? Now that we know we can make it, let's take a look. What do we got under here? Okay. What we had to do. We need to make these here. Let's, uh, let's get here so you can see better. Okay. So we had to do a little bit of milling. You could do this with a file. You need to make this one. This right here, is, there's a sharp point there. You can file it all the way back, but don't file it so far back that the truck comes out of the socket. So I filed it back about as far as it can go. And then you need to make this one here. And then you need to duplicate them. Then they're going to need to be insulated because, as you know, by now, here's the truck. It's got the arm on just like an Athian. That arm could touch the side of the frame. Now, with the modifications I made on this one, it probably can't, but just in case, we're going to put some liquid electrical tape there. It'll be fine. It'll work great. So, we've got... I'll polish this up a little bit, and it's going to be ready to go in. And I think I'm going to do a nice... I think this one's going to have to be a gloss black. Can't be can't be my favorite rust-oleum camouflage brown it's gonna have to be a maybe a satin black and then I don't know then I got some new dry brush stuff that I might be able to try on this and uh, we'll think about it we'll see but there it is makes night makes the 15 inch radius good to go